Hi guys, my name is Deanna and I am a stay-at-home mom. I am visually impaired and dyslexic. I did not go to college for this, but I love doing art and I love food. I hope I can show you some tips and tricks on how to use this app. This is the iPad Pro that I use. I think it is a 12 inch and I also use the Apple Pen. That is very important right here. Let's start with the App Store. Type in Procreate. This is definitely my favorite app to use for digital art. Here it is. On the top right corner, you see the plus sign. It gives you size of canvases. The ones that say untitled are the ones that I've created. You can also go into your photos like this and click a photo and start from there. On the top left, you'll see the squiggly line. So with that little tool on the top left, the third one, I'm going to crop out the lettering and the little food drawing. Then you go down to the bottom and you do copy and paste once you outline that food drawing and it will make a second of a second layer of the same drawing that you copied and paste. Like right here in the blue. And these are the layers, as you can see. On the top left, I'm gonna go and get the tool and hit the text tool. When it's highlighted, you can color it any color you want. So let's go with black. On the bottom left, you'll see a pencil. Click that, click the AA, and it will pop up as different fonts, different sizes, bold, you name it. My favorite font that I like to use is Chalk Duster. It gives a really cool texture like you wrote with a pencil. If the text is not highlighted, it is impossible to change the color, as you can see. Second, my favorite brushes. I love using the airbrush. And as you can see, when you hold your finger down on any color, it will show your latest color on the bottom and the color that you want on the top. So, the last color I had was that dark, and that's on the bottom, and now I had the light peach. The other kind of brush that I love to use is called the sketch brush it gives it like I don't know what it is but it, I love the pencil texture of things on digital art um, yeah so if you tap with your fi two fingers on the screen you can go back and if you tap with three fingers on your screen you can go forward these are the size of the brush on the left as you can see and this is the fading or how like strong the brush will be on the top right is the color that little round bubble and you can choose all different colors as so here also you have the color wheel I prefer classic. So here you make a circle, hold your pencil down, then put down your finger and it will make a perfect circle. The same goes with a square, rectangle, or triangle. But you want to make the lines bold or you will get that little puff that I did right there. Next I want to show you how to fill in a square. Instead of taking 
all the time to fill it in. It's simple and it's easy and it makes your art faster. You go up top where that little bubble is, let's go to red, and you drag that little circle of red down into the square, but you have to make sure it's fully, all of the corners are closed. You can slide to the left in your layers and you can delete, or you can make a duplicate, a second one. So first I sketch out um, the drawing and then I put it on overlay. So when I put it on overlay and I color underneath, the outline that I did will not turn black, it will turn a little bit darker than the color that's under it, if that makes sense. I love digital art because with my eyesight it is so hard to see and this makes it so easy because you can zoom in and get all of the little details that you want, period. You don't have to go to school to do this. You just have to love it and you, it's a lot of work, but you'll get the hang of it once you get the tablet and the app. I also learned by just watching a bunch of YouTube videos. Thank you for watching my video and I hope this really helps. Also, I love making sure that everything is cohesive with the colors. Have a good day. Bye.